a science experiment for the science fair presentation? That sounds very exciting, Tabasamu, and you clearly look very excited. But why don't you let your friends present? You know people will understand if you can't do it, my baby. I don't want you to feel hurt or sad from people not understanding you as you present. Not everyone understands sign language, so maybe leave it to your friends to do the presentation. I'm just trying to protect you. Dear Mama and Sisters, please come to the science fair at school today. Girls! After school today, make your way to Tabasamu School to attend her science fair. I'll meet you there. parents, family and friends, you have time to visit one more table for presentation before we close our science fair and call it a day. And so we realize that when grown in three different environments, these species, though from the same species, were affected. They grew to become the same mix of two colors, but different height. No matter what environment we place the seeds in, we each got purple and white flowers, which shows that this was caused by the genes inherited by the flowers. But in each of our bunches of flowers, we had different characteristics and height. For Baraka, the leaves were tall, the stems were short. For me, the leaves were short and the stems were tall. For Tabasamu, the stems were tall and the leaves were tall which showed us that each environment caused something different to happen. Baraka had poor soil and poor sunlight. I had rich soil and too much sunlight. Tabasamu had rich soil and well-controlled sunlight. From the kind of soil the flowers grew in, to the amount of water we each gave our plants, to the amount of sunlight or shade or care we gave to the plants. We conclude that the color was determined by the genetics, but the height of the stems and leaves were caused by the environment. And so, like Tabasamu just said, this proves the hypothesis true that biological variation is not only determined by inheritance of genes, but also influenced by the environmental surroundings that one grows in. Yeah, and so we conclude that, just like these plants, we inherit certain genes from our parents that can make us have similarities and also differences depending on what we inherit and the environment we're in. Some of us are pink. Some of us are blue. Some of us hear. And some of us don't. Some of us know more about things. And some of us are lucky to learn from them. But the best thing we learned is that we are all unique in one way or another. And that variation is good. It's important to have variation in our environment. Because each one of us has different qualities to offer that make us super special. If everyone were exactly the same, our appreciation for each other wouldn't be as strong as it would be hard for us to build resilience. Ladies and gentlemen, we are not special despite our differences. Oh no, we are special because of our differences. So sorry for underestimating you, Tabasamu. I thought I was protecting you, but now I understand that you are quite capable all by yourself. I am so proud of you. Did you like this video and want to watch more? Yay! Subscribe to get exclusive access to premium content and more. Only in the Bongo Playroom. Free for download today. The only place you can watch, sing, 
read, play, and learn with all your favorite Obongo characters. What are you waiting for? Available in English, Kiswahili, French, Hausa, and more.